Hi, this is Jackie Murray with Ask a Tech Teacher. I'm your guide through these 32 lessons in the Structured Learning Technology Curriculum. We're in third grade and this is lesson 25. This is a very fun lesson. I wish it came up earlier in the year, but the students really aren't ready for it till just about the year's ending. But then they're going to have it for fourth, fifth grade and beyond and over the summer. So in this lesson, students are going to create their own computer wallpaper. This is also a nice time to have this lesson because it, it, it's starting to draw into the end of the school year. You only have seven more weeks after this of technology lessons. So this kind of rejuvenates the excitement and the activity. So this is cool. I've learned enough now I can make my own wallpaper for my digital device. So it, it's, it's a really fun lesson for them. We have five different ways that they can make this. So vocabulary, what is the desktop background? Plagiarism, um, revisit that because you want them to use only pictures that they are legally allowed to use, especially since they're going to be using it in a fairly public setting like their digital device, that lots of people will see that picture on their device. And then what the heck is wallpaper? So here, problem solving. Why can't I use an online image? No one's going to know, so discuss that with them. So, um, you know, it, be, besides the fact that kids, this is fun and exciting and it's a skill that's transferable to home where they can go home and then personalize their device at home, Kids like to take ownership of their digital devices and putting a wallpaper on that they like takes ownership. So if you look at some of these wallpapers, this takes ownership. Their dad's in the Navy and this is his ship. They like a clean canvas they could draw on. This is their dog. They like to have something that says a lot more than just a picture, their own drawing there. So those are really good reasons to teach kids to personalize their computer devices and they'll take better care of them then. So um, be prepared today though they took speed quizzes so you want those graded and ready to go. You want Google Earth board rubrics and you want to know that the wallpaper creation methods that you're going to show them work on their device. So do, do a little prep with that. So warm them up with keyboarding. They're third grade. We're talking about speed and accuracy now. So warm them up using your rote drill, probably your rote drill site. Review last week's speed quiz. Um, start Google presentations. I'm not going to go through that because it's we've discussed this in the past. Um, they're going to you. There's five different methods they can use. Some of them work for some devices. Some work for all none, all don't work for some, some all work for some. Anyway, you're going to pick the one that works best for them. Or you can have them try all of them out. It doesn't matter if they try it and it doesn't work because they've learned something then. So the first one is whatever that organic method is on the digital device. Try that out and then put your wallpaper up. Create their own, a drawing that they created that they really like and use that one. Um, use an internet picture that is legal to use and use that one. Go to the digital devices picture folder and use that one. Use something in there or get a wallpaper from one of the many wallpaper sites like National Geographic and download it. I think in the workbook, yeah, there's some samples here of uh, going to the digital devices pictures folder and then setting it as desktop wallpaper. This is for a PC and this is for an iPad and Chromebooks are a little different. So uh, go through those. You, you probably have to demo it and maybe have them work along with you. Try them out, pick the one they like and then enjoy putting their picture up there. If they're working in a lab then they'll put their picture up and it'll be there till the next third grade class comes in and changes it. So that's still pretty cool. And exit ticket, their neighbor has to check their newly created wallpaper. See, did you get it up or I'll help you get one, a, a, a wallpaper up. Okay, guys, I think that's it. Take some notes there about how your lesson went. If you want to give yourself some hints for next year. 
All right. I think we're done. Let me know if you have questions. I'm happy to help you. Have a great week, and I'll see you in a week.